this is a this is a spark plug model. It's they're different sizes. They won't interchange. It's only for show and tell. But you see this cylinder sleeve. This is the part where the water water surrounds this whole thing. And see how deep this pitting is. And it's usually and that's one of the reasons that you cover this up with water. You'll look down in a lot of engine owners, water hoppers, and the water is only this level right here. You'll be able to see the top of their cylinder down in there. And and uh, in the field down in there, and the water is it's cold or lukewarm. And the engine owner says, oh, that's good, that's good. Well, actually, it's not. It's very bad because the cylinder rust is where that water line is at. And, and this is a good example right here. On both sides, it, it has a, a rust line right here. Really rusted a lot down here and not much up here. And even to the point where that, when I took this out, this is one I had to really get in there and I had to press this one out. But just looking at it, you can see some of the pits right there. It looks like they're more than an eighth of an inch deep and it's still quite thick. And one of the, the comment was is what material, what do what do I use or what should they use to fill up those pits in the cylinder? I assumed that was the way the comment was on the outside. And and and, and don't use anything. Um, there 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 is a train of thought where it, what color you paint this. You know, if you cleaned it up, I electrolysis everything. And usually paint it with a flat black, uh, some kind of rust rust paint, and uh, but just a flat black coating. But you do not want to put any bondo or any uh, epoxy. You don't want to put anything on the outside here, thick coating. You, you don't want to do that because it's cooling by whatever the word is. Just type it in there, meaning that. the water, the heat transfers from this cast iron out into the water and then out into the housing and, and cools it. And if you apply, apply something on here to slick this up, then it can't cool itself. So much for that. This is the one that we took out of this one. And so far, just looking at it on the outside, it, it is absolutely pristine condition. As far as I can see, there is no rust pitting at all on it. Now, now there's 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 a flash rust on it here, but as far as pitting, I think this is going to clean up really, really, really good. And uh, that, but the important part, the important part, is the cylinder bore. And that one looks really, really slick, but it's it's according to what size it is. And then another important thing area is where the O-ring rides on this right here. Is is they a war rusted? Is they a rusted line where the O-ring was at? Um, it can be a problem if it's deep. Uh, you can fix that. The what was a uh, train of thought I was going with there? Uh, I think we're going to be good here. But I'm going to clean up the parts. Oh, let's not stop now. Uh, we, uh, I'm not going to take the name tag off now. I am going to replace it. But uh, in order, in order to, to actually know what we got, is at this point get that get that gas tank off of there And the gas tank 
if we are if we are in focus, if we are in, we are, and if we ain't, we ain't. But, uh, oh, that's a bad boat. That was loose. And so is that one. Gas tank bolts loose. And the gas tank coming out. We do have a varmint living in there. Uh, some kind of, well, it's done moved out. Something over there is alive. Spider probably. Looks good down here. But the gas tank on the igniter on the igniter top that does not have the vent in the side of the block will have this kind of fitting that uh, only goes on the suction side and a drain. But the the tanks are interchangeable. You can put the other fitting in here that goes either way. Uh, it's not good. Uh, I, I probably will not put this gas tank back on there. But right here's where the leak was at. You can see the paint bubbling right there. Uh, very, very little leak evidently. But it's got a whole complete bottom put on here. Um, looks like it's soldered. You know, it's a repair, but it's not good. And the uh, engine block itself. Uh, the only only part left on here, it don't have the pins in it. They come off with the side covers. The only part left on this block is the name tag to two rivets. So, you know, let's wash it up now and put it back together. <laughs>